Now, the United Kingdom must always support the world's most vulnerable. Since, since 2015, we've given sanctuary to nearly half a million people. These include 150,000 people from Hong Kong, 160,000 people from Ukraine, 25,000 Afghans fleeing the Taliban. Indeed, my own parents, indeed my own parents, Mr. Speaker, decades ago found security and opportunity in this country, something for which my family is eternally grateful. Crucially, these are decisions supported by the British people, precisely because they were decisions made by the British people and their elected representatives, not by the people smugglers and other criminals breaking into Britain on a daily basis. For a government not to respond to waves of illegal migrants breaching our borders would be to betray the will of the people we were elected to serve. Now, the small boats problem is part of a larger global migration crisis. In the coming years, developed countries will face unprecedented levels with pressures from ever greater numbers of people leaving the developing world for places like the United Kingdom. Unless we act today, the problem will be worse tomorrow, and the problem is already unsustainable. Mr Speaker, people are dying in the Channel. The volume of illegal arrivals has overwhelmed our asylum system. The backlog has ballooned to over 160,000. The asylum system now costs the British taxpayer £3 billion a year. Since 2018, some 85,000 people illegally entered the United Kingdom by small boat. 45,000 of them in 2022 alone, all travelled through multiple safe countries in which they could and should have claimed asylum. Many came from safe countries like Albania. Almost all passed through France. The vast majority, 74% in 2021, were adult males under the age of 40, rich enough to pay criminal gangs thousands of pounds for passage. Upon arrival, most are accommodated in hotels across the country, costing the British taxpayer around £6 million a day. The risk remains that these individuals just disappear, and when we try to remove them, they turn our generous asylum laws against us to prevent removal. The need for reform is obvious and is urgent. This government has not sat on its hands, Mr Speaker. Since this Prime Minister took office, recognising the necessity of joint solutions with France, we have signed a new deal providing more technology and embedding British officers with French patrols. And I hope Friday's Anglo-French summit will further deepen that cooperation. We've created a new small boats operational command with over 700 new staff. We've doubled NCA funding to tackle the smuggling gangs. We've increased enforcement raids by 50%. We've signed a deal with Albania, which has already enabled the return of hundreds of illegal arrivals. And we're procuring accommodation, including on military land, to end the farce of accommodating migrants in hotels. But let's be honest. It is still not enough. In the face of today's global migration crisis, yesterday's laws are simply not fit for purpose. So to anyone proposing de facto open borders through unlimited safe and legal routes as the alternative, let's be honest. There are 100 million people around the world who could qualify for protection under our current laws. Let's be clear, they are coming here. We've seen a 500 We've seen a 500% increase in small boats crossings in 2 years. And this, Mr Speaker, is the crucial point of this bill. They will not stop coming here until the world knows that if you enter Britain illegally, you will be detained and swiftly removed. Yeah.